Han Solo is old. Yes, I know that's because Harrison Ford, especially in The Force Awakens, is old, but I mean that the character of Han Solo is old. Really old. Like, he's older than Obi-Wan Kenobi, I think. Blame light speed, relativity, and the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. All right, we all know the line from Han, but let's hear it again from him anyway. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Yes, less than 12 parsecs. All right. Let's get this out of the way too. A parsec is a unit of distance and not time. Yes, Star Wars nerds will say that maybe Han Solo was trying to boast to Obi-Wan Kenobi by making up some metric of performance or just trying to test to see if Obi-Wan knew what a parsec was, but no. You nerds are wrong. George Lucas was wrong. Let's move on. What is a parsec anyway? Dun, dun. A parsec is a unit of distance used to measure distances of objects outside of our own solar system. First proposed by astronomer Herbert Hall Turner in 1913, it is defined by the distance between the Earth and the Sun and the angle between the Earth, Sun, and object in question. One parsec is the distance to an object that makes a one arc second angle with the Earth and the Sun, one arc second is 1 hundredth of a degree, when the Earth and the Sun can complete the bottom half of this right triangle. It's basically the radius of Earth's orbit around the Sun. Now, using these measurements, one parsec is then defined as 32.6 light years. Now, how long is the Kessel Run? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> So if Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon can make the Kessel Run at under 12 parsecs, that means with a fast ship, he can shorten the canonically 18 parsec run significantly by flying closer to black holes, but that's no longer canon thanks to Disney. Shh. Anyway, in total, the run to Kessel and back would then span a length of about 40 light years. That's over 370 trillion kilometers. How could Han Solo ever cover this distance without growing old? Relativity. It's what makes him older than Obi-Wan Kenobi and maybe even Anakin Skywalker. How fast can the Millennium Falcon actually go? <laughs> when you go fast, like really, really fast, time ticks more slowly for you. I know it sounds sci-fi, but we know that it happens and we actually have to correct for it. Our GPS satellites are orbiting around the Earth so quickly that we have to correct their clocks. They lose time every day because their clocks tick more slowly than ours do back on Earth. Now I'm gonna do something that you probably won't agree with and throw out the concept of hyperspace entirely. Sorry, nerds. It just seems like from everything we know about the universe, the speed of light is the universal speed limit. But let's say that the Millennium Falcon can get really, really close to the speed of light instead, maybe 99.9999999% the speed of light. If you plug this velocity into the time dilation equation, which says how much time will pass for you versus an outside observer, if you're going really, 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 really fast, Han Solo can complete the Kessel Run, which is about 40 light years in length, in about 15 hours. If the rest of the universe ages 40 years with just one Kessel Run, then chronologically, if Han Solo completed just one Kessel Run in his lifetime, when he sat down at that cantina bar, he would be older than old Ben when he met him. Let me explain with numbers and not like a crazy person. To appear about 29 or 30 in the events of A New Hope, if he did just one Kessel Run, he would have to be born at least 70 years before that movie because 40 years would have elapsed with just one Kessel Run, although he barely aged at all, which makes him older than Obi-Wan Kenobi. If he did two before the events of the movie, then he'd have to be born at least 110 years ago, which is 
older than the Emperor. If he did three, he'd have to be born 150 years before the events of the movie, making him older than the line that made C-3PO. And if he did four or more, he'd have to be born almost 200 years before the events of the movie, making him older than Chewbacca. Wow, Chewbacca is old. Well, that's my theory at least. I am trying to keep the physics of a fantasy world sound here, but just think of how the story would change if relativity was included. If Han meets Luke and goes on one Kessel run just for kicks or some extra money and he comes back to find the Jedi Order risen and fallen and risen again and the floating remnants of two Death Stars, I guess I just find a lack of physics disturbing. Why? Because science. Ben. One more science? Check out my last video on how big bugs can actually get. Subscribe to Nerdist for more videos if you want because science two days earlier than anyone else head to Vessel at Vessel.com slash Nerdist. If you have any comments or questions for me, you can hit me up in the comment section below. And it's holiday season and Nerdist.com has a whole slew of holiday gift guides for any geeks or nerds you need to shop for. And we're doing our annual holiday gift guide giveaway and you can find out how to enter back on Nerdist.com. Thanks.